Snap the Mullet. I'm a clairvoyant psychic and a contactee, and today I want to talk to you about sex and consciousness. Now, when many of us think about sex, we tend to think of it as just being a physical act. We don't think about the aspect of how our energy bodies, our souls, are interconnecting with another person. Now, it does not matter whether the sex is consensual or not, you're still having an energetic exchange occur between two or more people, depending upon the number of people having intercourse at that time. So I want to explain something to you. When I was much younger, and I was in middle school, I believe I was in grade 8, possibly grade 9, really young, some of the beings I work with told me that I was to keep my number of sexual partners when I started being more intimate with people very low. I was not allowed to go out and have the sexual liberation and freedom of exploration that many of you have had the pleasure of having. And at the time, I didn't really understand why this was the case. I didn't understand why I had to be so selective, why I had to only um, have sex with people that I loved, and only then if I really felt a high level of connection to them. Why I wasn't allowed to go out there and have the same exploration as the other people that I was friends with and what have you. And it wasn't until many years later when I went through um, a lot more of my contact and started to understand the aspect of hybridization and how everything we are is energy, that I started to get a better idea about why these beings gave me such a strong message so very young in life. What you may not understand is sex is actually broken down into two main categories. The um, adequate energetic exchange, where you're having an equal amount of energy being exchanged between one party and the other, and it goes in like a circular type motion. For ease of conversation, we'll just say it this way. If you and I were to be intimate with one another in a sexual way, when we were having sex, my energy body, and my aura, my chakras, would have an energy exchange coming out of my body, cascading into yours, and it would go through your body and circle back into my own. Whereas your energy would be coming in through my body and pushing back through my auric system, cascading into your own body again, creating like a, uh, almost like a cyclical energetic exchange between the two of us. And that's completely fine because that is a healthy exchange of energy occurring. Whereas the other type of energy um, exchange that we see is when there's things like fucking or even in the situation of rape. Please excuse my vulgar language but I do believe that's probably the most direct way I can actually phrase it. So when you are having um, intercourse with someone that you are not actually having a strong sense of love and connection to, and you're just there for the orgasm, the release, you are still having an energetic um, exchange with your partner, but it's not necessarily a healthy one, because what happens is if one of the parties is um, thoroughly into the situation and enjoying it, they could be energetically siphoning off their partner, especially if their partner is not reciprocating this feeling of connection and wanting to be intimate. In which case, one party is actually having vampiric energy um, taken from the other partner and feeding off of them. And they're unaware of that component typically. And so when we look at situations like this, this is what we see very commonly in people that are into more of the abusive sexual natures or if they're into dominating type um, sex or things like that. And when we're looking at how this goes, anyone that you have intercourse with, you are having energetic cords form with from your root chakra and from your heart chakra as well as your sacral chakra. So when we look at this aspect, Think about how many sexual partners you've had. Those are cords you have coming out of your sacral that is going towards everyone that you've had intercourse with. Now, the people that you love and that you felt a strong sense of connection to, quite often you'll have cords coming from the heart going towards them as well. However, if you think about everyone that you've had um, intercourse with, those people are either feeding your energetic system and replenishing you, or they are taking from you. And so it's very important to try to cut those cords, to get rid of them, to be very selective about the partners that you're choosing to have, because you don't want to unnecessarily be giving a lot of your energy away, especially being drained by other people. That's a very taxing and difficult thing for the energy body, as well as the physical body to handle. Well, I just want to make this a short video. I hope that helps you better understand the energetic exchange that goes on when you're intimate with someone. I wish you peace and light. Bye.